In this video, I'm going to attempt to repair this rod, closet, hanging, clothes hanging rod that crashed down yesterday and all the clothes ended up on the floor. And this came out, came out there, was hanging up on that, this fell off. You can see over here, I had repaired this once before. So this rod hanger here is the easy one to replace, but over here, the center arm is attached to this wood plate via two screws and one had completely pulled out and kind of destroyed the wood there. Now I've got two choices. I can try to repair this wood, uh, maybe put a new piece in altogether, or I can just cut it out, maybe, maybe put a long screw through the wall. However, there is no stud here. Studs are right here and here. I could just add two at another bracket and put one here and here, screw it through the stud for extra support. I, that kind of appeals to me. So now it's off to Home Improvement Store and see what parts we can find to repair this closet rod. I think we found the section of the Home Improvement Store that has what we need. Yes. This is, I think, a good bracket because they are metal. Or this is white. But of course, you know, we come here and this is what we need. Of course. Now we need that. If I want to put up, I can use this. Now, I did measure it, but I think this is the right size. It looks the right size. Okay, ah, here we go. I think we'll improve it with just some heavy duty stuff. This should work. What I need is a screws to go into the studs that'll fit the holes here. And I think this is the right, we're gonna need number eight, two and a half inch. Should fit, will fit. That'll fit in there and there. All right, next thing I need is some wood. And I think this probably would work. Turns out that was not the right board. It was a little too thick. Uh, so I just found some scrap plywood in the garage and I'm just gonna cut it to size here. Uh, I'm gonna match the wood that's already in the closet in terms of dimensions. Okay, so I was able to cut this piece out of a half inch thick plywood and uh, I think that'll work. I just gotta make another one now. So now all I gotta do is find the stud where this is gonna go and put this thing up. So let's use a stud finder. All right, so those are the edges of the stud. And all I gotta do, I'll line that up and center it. So that should be centered. I'm just gonna put one nail each in the center here to tack this down. That's good. And then so the bracket then will go up in there. So I'm gonna spackle this thing a little bit here. Because when I nailed that in, uh, plaster came off that screw. All right, next I gotta make some pilot holes here. So I'm gonna put the bracket up uh, where it's gonna go. Uh, I see there's, this thing's a little bit down already, huh? So let's see, right about there, and right about there is where we wanna screw in. All right, get a couple of screws out of here. Scintillating TV. The drill bit's not quite long enough, I say. 
So we got to go manual with this guy in something like that, perhaps. And line up the rest of the way. And let's strip these Junko Cheapo screws while we're at it. Okay, so now that we got these brackets in, next comes the little bit easier part. I'm gonna install this bracket right here. Boom. Okay, yeah, I made the holes already right there. So let's get drilling. One heavy duty bracket in there. So all we have left to do is put in the bar, which is right here, this thing. Boom. I think we'll just drill a hole here. All right. Do the other one right here. There. There. It is all done. Thanks for watching an episode of Scott's DIY on this Labor Day weekend, doing a little bit of labor, repairing this rod with a heavy duty bracket. So it should never fall down again, hopefully. See you next time. Adios. Okay, after that, I think I'm gonna get a smoothie. A watermelon breeze smoothie. Oh, it's ready. When I grow up, I wanna be a real smoothie.